many of us were disappointed this year, when it turned out that Note 5 will not have a removable battery. SD card slot and smartphone will not be available on the European market. For this replacement is going to be a bigger version of the Galaxy S6 Edge. If the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus can worldly replace the Model Note 5 in Europe? I'll try to answer this question. I'm Martin Wise and this is a review of the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. As I mentioned, S6 Edge Plus is nothing but a bigger version of the S6 Edge, presented in February 2015. Gorilla Glass 4 wrapped around at the front and back of the device, along with metal frame and curves on both edges of the screen make the phone look phenomenal. Smartphone it is more ergonomic than its smaller brother. Bigger screen is not the only difference between each other. S6 Edge Plus has got 1 gig of memory more than Precursor. New 64-bit octa-core processor provides sufficient power whether to play or to navigate through the interface. Another difference might be the lack of internet port. I have no idea why Samsung has decided to remove this function from the phone. Maybe it was the production cost involved. We remember that both model S6 and S6 Edge was available in three different memory sizes, 32, 64 and 128 gig. S6 Edge Plus is available only in the two smaller variants. For someone even 64 gig capacity might not be enough, especially for those who want to have all your favorite music collection with you, and you like to install a lot of games. Hopefully, might be the cloud where we can store photos, music or other files. However, for this we'll need the Wi-Fi coverage or a bigger data plan with your operator. Also, the battery has been changed. The model with PLUS is 3000 mAh supported with high-speed wireless charging in the same way as it is in the Galaxy Note 5. Is it a lot? So is enough for all day of moderate usage. I mentioned it earlier about the curved edges of the screen. Phone looks insane. I have the impression that the image was wrapped around a smartphone. It looked very nice. Quad HD Super AMOLED display made the image extremely sharp. There is no way of grasping the individual pixels. I'm not gonna lie if I say that this is one of the best, if not the best screen on the market. Speaking about the displayed image, we can go to the interface. TouchWiz Launcher is the same like in the Galaxy Note 5, S6 or S6 Edge. Rounded icons centrally look fresh. Whether they are nice or not, it is of course a matter of taste, but I like them a lot. You can change theme whenever you want. I noticed that the interface in the S6 Edge Plus running a little bit smoother and faster than in Note 5. Of course, the curved edges of the screen offer new ways to interact with smartphone. Samsung has prepared some interesting features available only in Edge phones. For example, Edge people. Immediate access to 5 selected contacts accessible from a home screen or any other application. Just swipe and you have the ability to send a text message or make a call. Additionally, each of these contacts is assigned a color, so if you put the phone upside down and one of them call you, the edge will illuminate, so you will know who is calling you without picking a phone up. 
Another feature what should be in the Samsung phones is night clock. Little clock on the edge of the smartphone illuminated at night along with the alarm clock status. There are also some other features already familiar from Galaxy Note Edge like setting the bar with sports news or stock exchange, which will bring up the most important information for us on Edge. S6 Edge Plus has exactly same camera like Note 5, 16 megapixel fast shooter. Double click on the home button activate the camera in a split second, whether you are playing or when dormant the phone. Photos come out sharp and natural and vibrant colors. Samsung this year made a big improvement when it comes to the camera. In auto mode, you can be sure that each picture will be perfect. For those who want to play a bit with settings, there is a pro mode where all important things can be changed. Samsung risked a lot deciding to replace Galaxy Note 5 with S6 Edge Plus in Europe. But in my opinion, S6 Edge Plus can easily replace his cousin. Of course, for someone for whom S Pen is not so important. For those for whom stylus is most important, remains an option to purchase Note 4 or buy Note 5 from overseas. Gossip seeing that Samsung will bring Note 5 to Europe from January 2016 but that might be too late for him. As a fan of the Note smartphones, after a month of use Note 5 and S6 Edge Plus, I can reveal that S6 Edge Plus suits me more. I fell in love with the screen, so in my opinion, the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus can worthily replace Galaxy Note 5 in Europe. Innovate design wins at this point to the lack of stylus S Pen. It was review about Samsung Galaxy S6 Plus. If you like this video, click thumb up. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. I'm Marcin Wise. Thanks for watching.